Josh Raven here with Dot Esports at E League, joined by Sean Gares from Echo Fox. Uh, immediately after what can only be described as a bit of a beatdown from Flipside, uh, we'll start on that. Was it simply a case of one player doing incredible things and fl uh, well did it, or was there something fundamentally wrong in that game? No, there's definitely like tons of stuff that just went fundamentally wrong. Um, so from the get go, I mean, we kind of thought they would anti shatter pistol, so. I made like a last second adjustment because the players uh, they, like didn't really want to run the, the other pistol, which is understandable. Um, so I made a last second adjustment, didn't work. And then for the first like three gun rounds, we kept over rotating and making very bad rotations. So it was just constantly rotating to the wrong site, constantly dying, or maybe we'd, we'd rotate to the wrong site and the site we left, like some guy would die and then we'd be out of place. And then they'd get, it, was, it was a nightmare. And then we could never, get a footing on the economy and it's horrible. Well, you got a tie in the end, but that doesn't mean you can avoid bottoming the group, unfortunately, yeah. meaning you'll face Na'Vi, I believe, tomorrow. Um, thoughts going into that match, I believe you tied against them on day one. Uh, so, semi-final, it's possible. What are your thoughts going into that game? Yeah, I mean, uh, we played really good against them on Dust2. Obviously, we beat them pretty easily, in my opinion. And then, uh, I mean, they, we, they have a couple other maps they don't want to play. So, the, I know they don't like really playing Cash or Nuke, so, um, it'll be interesting to see like, what they like to ban, um, because we're obviously comfortable on Dust2. Um, we play Nuke and play Cash2, so uh, I don't really know what they're going to ban. And for us, I mean, obviously, same problem for us, though. Like, they, <laughs> they have all the other maps down pat, so kind of like 4-3 to three in terms of maps. So we'll see how, how the veto pans out, and uh, yeah, that, that's what matters most. Well, even despite bottom in the group, let's say, do you feel like you've kind of proven to people that you guys can show up and can play against these elite or good level teams? Because I'm not sure people were expecting too much from Echo Fox coming in, but you've done fairly well despite yeah. the position. Yeah, I think we definitely surprised a lot of people. Uh, I haven't really actually run into anyone that <laughs> didn't predict us to go 0-6. And I think we would have actually played a lot better had we not randomly drawn train in all three matchups. Um, and honestly, the mouse sports one was actually a total mistake by me. It should have never even been able to happen. Um, so I take the blame for that for sure on the veto process. And yeah, I mean, I wish we would have practiced train more coming into this event, obviously. Um, we had we gone over some stuff, but obviously there's a lot of holes in our game right now. Okay, well, talking about you yourself and the team, uh, obviously you came across from Cloud9, uh, leading some very experienced players there, moving on to Echo Fox and becoming the in-game leader of some not-so-experienced players competitively. Uh, what, what's the change like and what do you have to adapt to yourself to start leading these players and maybe take out some of their pug tendencies and whatnot? Yeah, I guess the main problem that we always seem to, to keep running into is trading and rotations and just grenade usage, like those three things. Um, Grenade usage when we're entering sites, a lot of times, like it really has to be like kind of like outlined ahead of time. Like this is what this role should do, and like you should support in this way, and this is how you should react in certain situations. So we, we're constantly finding new things to go over. Uh, it's it's really fun, but then there's obviously like other round, there's other games where we'll just we'll blow open bomb sites because our players are so skilled. Um, it's a lot different of a group than I had on Cloud Nine, where people are very like fearless and quick to the point. Um, so when you get the first entry, things can snowball for you quick, like quite rapidly, actually. Um, it's just unfortunate that that didn't really happen in the Mouse Sports series. We didn't really have a chance for a slipside there. Well, you mentioned playing on Cloud9. You have got one of those members back. Freakazoid joined up with the team. Uh, do you feel like things are going better with him? Do you feel like you can work better with him as a player in the team? Yeah, I actually think Ryan is more skilled now than he ever was in CSGO. It's, it's crazy the amount of hours that he's been putting in recently in Deathmatch and DSA Pugs. And it reflects in his game. Um, he's making very sound decisions um, based on all the pugs he's played. His like late game awareness is um, much better than it used to be, and his aim is obviously still very good. So um, I love playing with Ryan. He'll always listen to everything I say, and he's he's just a diehard. He constantly wants to win. So I can't ask for a better teammate.